Hello guys and welcome to another interesting episode of Madrid My DNA, the home of everything Madridistas, as we discuss you through Real Madrid's latest and important update. Kickstarting with today's agenda, Real Madrid protagonist Vinicius Jr. wants to make history with the club despite transfer efforts from rivals. We are going to be talking you through that on this episode as we move forward and then shortly after that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda as Erling Haaland, who has been on Real Madrid rather for a while now, has also been targeted by rivals club FC Barcelona for his possible signing in 2025, reports have come out to claim. We are also going to be bringing you a full update on that in this episode as we move forward. So please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. Kylian Mbappe has reportedly signed his contract with Real Madrid and will officially make his switch to the Merengues this summer. As one of the transfers of the decade, he will become Real Madrid's poster boy, a tag that is currently held by the likes of Vinicius Jr. and Jude Bellingham at the club. Paris Saint-Germain's hunt for a replacement, needless to say, also went through the Real Madrid squad and the French giants now hope to sign Vinicius Jr. to take revenge against Las Blancos for swapping their best player. After all, the Brazilian star plays in the same position as Mbappe and the Ligue 1 giants plan to utilize the same insecurity to coerce him. As revealed by Spanish publication Marca in a recent report, Vinicius Jr. and Real Madrid are clear that the player's only home is the Santiago Bernabeu and that a departure is off the table. There is no future debate as of concern to whether the player will leave the club or not. Even the, 20, the 200 million euros that Paris Saint-Germain offers will not change the mind of either parties. Neither Vinicius nor the board will listen to any offers. In fact, the report adds that the club referred to the player's 1 billion euros release clause as the only option for any interested party, a figure that is simply too high to reach. Understand that Vinicius Jr. has not only been courted by Paris Saint-Germain, but also offers have come from the Premier League as Manchester United and Liverpool eye a move for the youngster who could be a huge addition to their squad if the Brazilian does decide to leave in search of a different club in the summer, which is likely the most impossible transfer in football at this moment. Marca adds that the Brazilian phenom sees himself as part of the team's long-term project one that could rule the footballing world for at least a decade or so. We can make history, the beginning of a dynasty of something important, Vinicius Jr. says when asked about his future. It has indeed not been easy in Spain for the youngster, but he sees staying at Real Madrid as worth the unnecessary noise and unfortunate slur he faces. After all, a team with him, Rodrigo, Hendrik, Mbappe, Bellingham and others will simply be unstoppable. Understand that months ago, reports emerged suggesting that Vinicius Jr. might consider leaving Spain due to the racial abuse he faces from the away fans. This re report has resurfaced to clear all doubt about the Brazilian's future. Also remember that during the international break, when Vinicius was on international duty for Brazil. He also clarified that he was going to stay at the Merengues because he has the backing of the club and they support him at every possible opportunity. So whether what holds for his future is left to be seen. So having discussed and concluded with that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as Real Madrid target Erling Haaland appears to be on the radar of Clasico rivals FC Barcelona for the 2025 transfer market. Reports have emerged to claim. As one of football's premier institutions, Real Madrid have historically been linked with 
and served by the best in the business. After all, they are selective spending on the transfer market and ability to get players out of the right time maintains good financial health and permit regular Galatico signings. Following the same plan, Florentino Perez is eyeing the signing of Kylian Mbappe and Alfonso Davies this summer. Unsurprisingly, the Merengue's ambitious transfer plans have not gone down well in Catalonia. As revealed by Spanish publication Defensa Central, FC Barcelona hoped to con counteract Real Madrid's Galactico signing but bringing in a big money signing of their own. The Catalans are eyeing Erling Haaland, Manchester City's crown jewel, and hoped to sign him in the summer of 2025. The development comes as a big news in the Spanish capital for Haaland is one of Real Madrid's transfer targets for the future. As revealed earlier this week, Haaland prioritizes playing for Real Madrid despite arrival of Kylian Mbappe. While his signing this summer is impossible, he could be a primary target for the summer of 2025, depending on the performance of Real Madrid during the 2024-25 season. News of Barcelona's arrival into the race for Haaland should not send the alarm bells in Madrid ringing, for the Catalans' financial situation simply does not permit such a signing to go through. Laporta has already mortgaged a large chunk of the club's future through economic levers, but to no avail as the Blaugranas are still railing under its effect. If indeed Laporta attempts to sign the Norwegian superstar it would send the club's financial to a virtually irreparable state. Real Madrid thus still boasts of the upper hand and will hope to carry out their objective unhindered. Haaland's contract in England ends in 2027 and his agent is working hard to include a release clause in his potential renewal. Understand that news also break out stating that FC Barcelona could sell either Ronald Arujo or Frankie De Jong to fuel in the signing of Erling Haaland, which in this case might pose a little threat to their financial instability which is already there, but at the same time it will mean sacrificing one of their main players. It is left to see whether the Catalans are ready to take such a risk for the Norwegian poacher Erling Haaland. So having discussed and concluded with that, we have come to the end of this interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. See you next time and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.